All right, what's going on, guys? Trev and Jesse back to bring you another video. And this one, we're going to be doing a review of the Stranger, Stranger Things, Things. Yeah, special edition Palace Arcade. Yes, I love it, Trevor. <laughs> That's awesome. Box art for the Stranger Things Palace Arcade. Uh, really a lot of fun. Uh, once I saw this thing, I knew it was like, oh man, we got to get this. So here we've got uh, 11 at the top in sort of cartoon uh, look. And we have Pac-Man uh, right here, 20 games included. We get Pac-Man, Galaga. Uh, we have uh, Dig Dug, um, uh, Galaxy N, and uh, so, and then 16 other games. And there's Stranger Things themed so <laughs> very cool. cool yeah and uh, here's a look at the back with the uh, the side the side of the box is really cool check this out side of the arcade so wow, it's like a arcade vinyl type of thing oh i with, love that uh, flower yeah absolutely so you got <laughs> all the kids here and then the uh uh demogorgon right looks like a flower uh, yeah <laughs> yeah venus fly trap head ready to eat your face uh so let's crack this thing open and uh take a look all right, so here we have the uh, Palace Arcade Stranger Things Edition out of packaging. It does take uh, three AA batteries, so you do need three AA batteries. And it does not have a hookup for a USB. Some of the uh, My Arcades have a, uh, have a hookup, but uh, this one uh, does not. So you do need batteries for this one, and uh, that's how it, how it operates. Um, so yeah, just again, love this side art. Amazing. Very cool. Let's fire this bad boy up. Sweet, right? I love it. Stranger Things. So very cool. So that's the start menu. So like the loading start menu is the Stranger Things theme. Freaking awesome. So cool. All right. So then we get to the uh, the game select. So we have uh, Pac-Man, we have uh, uh, Galaxy N, we have Dig Dug, we have uh, Galaga, we have uh, Polywog Peril, <laughs> Waffle Blast, we have uh, Eleven's Quest. So that's so cool, oh, right? Yeah. Stylized to the um, to the character, right? And uh, Block Blaster. Uh, Hawkins Invasion was really close. That would be like a Space Invaders, but like Hawkins, like the TV series, right? Very sweet. Uh, we got uh, Syrup Drip. <laughs> Steam Stomp. How many it's, games uh, is this Yeah, it's uh, uh, 20 in total. Uh, Bike Bites. And they're custom. Dust and Dash. So, you know, custom to the characters in the show. Stranger Skies. Uh, let's see. Monster Trek. Flash Fright. Freezer Jams, uh, Babysitter Steve, <laughs> uh, Scoops Ahoy, uh, Hopper Hunt, Hopper's the cop in the show, and then we got volume, so that's high, we can set it to off, we can set it to low as well, maybe that's better. Alright, I guess we'll try, and there also is a menu, menu here as well, um, let's try Pac-Man, what do we say? So let's see what this looks like. <laughs> So it sounds to me like some of the games are like stock, like how they would have been, you know, in the uh, the 80s and 90s and whatnot. You gonna go this way? Oh, he's going that way. So they're stock, just as they normally would be. Uh, but the Stranger Things custom games come with it as well, so you've got different uh, different options. So there's Pac-Man. The emulation feels pretty good. It's a little slow, as you can see. On, on the console on the system, but pretty cool. All right, let's uh, let's exit. Back to menu. Galaxy and Dig Dug, it's fun. Let's try some of this. So, Polywog Peril is that because there's the uh, yeah. So it's basically like a, a frogger, I think. Uh, because if you guys remember, in was it season two? Oh darn, I got hit. <laughs> there was the uh, the Polywog. You guys remember that? That was an episode, right? Uh, from season two of Stranger Things. Oh darn. Okay. Okay. Oh, darn, I thought I was supposed to jump on that. I'm supposed to avoid 
Let's try again here. So custom games to Stranger Things. That was pretty cool. Waffle no, Blast. In the back of it, in yeah. Yeah. So we can look at it. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Arcade. Well, this side's definitely got to be the best because you have the stylized, you know, characters. And it reminds me of, like season two where they actually go to an arcade, they play an arcade. So Palace, Palace Arcade. And so these are like Eleven's Quest I'm here. It's like a custom game, right? Yeah, it's very cool. What are you going to rate this? So Eleven's Quest. What did I do? <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool. I think for the design more than anything, like, makes it the best, you know? So you got to jump it. Is that what it is? Oh, darn it. So, um... Darn it. <laughs> well... Uh, yeah, I think uh, I'll give it uh, I'll give it a seven out of ten because you get a lot of games with everything is cool. But the other thing I wanted to use it for was I wanted to use this for an arcade that six inch figures could play on. So you could have like the turtles or something if you have some turtle figures or whatever. Wolverine, Wolverine and Wolverine could be playing uh, arcade. Uh, let's see how that fits. Actually. Oh yeah, you yeah. should see. Show them. Wolverine right here, right? Yes. <laughs> so here's Wolverine. So Wolverine at the arcade, right? He's playing a Stranger Thing. Oh, this isn't gonna work so well. I have to get a clawless version. Right? He's gonna break the arcade. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. You get frustrated and smash the arcade. Yeah. So, but that was that was kind of what I bought it for. Was like to have it to where you could have it for you know to go with your uh, your figure collection or whatever. So very cool. And because I just love Stranger Things, I love I love these arcades. So uh, very cool product. So what do you think? I think it looks amazing and cool. it looks colorful. Yeah. And yeah. it's, I love it. Yeah, it is, it is really cool. Now, the only thing about it, the only downside to it is I think the games and emulation don't run quite as good as they would on an actual arcade. Obviously, it's not the original, uh, you know, version of Pac-Man and whatnot. It's a little bit slower for emulation, but it's just really fun. If you like Stranger Things, if you like arcades, yeah, it's very cool. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. What are you, you going to go with? 10 out of 10. <laughs> she loves it. Yeah, 10 out of 10. Okay, well, that's it for this uh, review, guys. Uh, thank you guys for uh, for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you again soon for another video. Love you. See you guys.